Hi, this is John Broadhead with Roland Systems Group. We're here today to talk a little bit more about the Roland VC1 series of video converters. Today, specifically, we want to look at the VC1 SC scan converter. This is one of the four units we currently have. Uh, this is a, a great little product that's a catch-all for all sorts of uh, different uses. Now, we want to focus specifically on what sets it apart from all the other converters out there. We know you have lots of choices, so why the Roland VC1SC? Let's take a look. First of all, it's the number of inputs that are on this device. You've got composite, you've got RGB and component. That's all your computer uh, component DVD players. And then you also have DVI, HDMI in, as well as um, SDI in. So that's pretty well all the inputs. Uh, that are, are most popular out there today. And it converts it to uh, HDMI or DVI out uh, and or SDI out at the same time. So the configurations, uh, you can quite imagine, of course, any of your computers out there, whether they're HDMI or RGB, uh, DVD, Blu-ray players, uh, iPads, any kind of devices you're wanting to plug in these days, this thing can handle. But as a scan converter, it will not only scan down, it can scan up, cross scan. So take a 1024 computer and scale it up to 1080p or 720p, or if you're running 480, depends on your different scenarios. So you can see in the example here, lots of different uh, configurations, uh, lots of different uh, choices there. One handy little feature too is the fact that you can take a HDMI in and both SDI outs are active in that case. So it's, it's a little one by two distribution amp for HDMI uh, that it can include scaling too if you wanted it uh, as well. In terms of uh, audio, this is a key point as well. You can either embed audio or uh, output audio. So that's handy in the case where you need to monitor your HDMI input perhaps, or, or in the case, or, or SDI for that matter, if it's coming in SDI or um, if you're wanting to embed audio, perhaps as you can see in one of the diagrams, taking audio from perhaps a front of house sound or from a mic input, wherever it may be, and you wanna embed it into the signal that's coming in and, and, and send it on over HDMI or SDI all, all embedded. So the sheer input output flexibility um, and, and conversion is very powerful. Now, how do you control that? Well, a couple different ways. Right on the, the bottom side of the, the product, you've got an input select button as well as a scaling type. And that allows you to toggle through a number of choices very quickly um, to, to select which input you want and then what you want it scaled to. You've got dip switches here for quick setting and you can see on the back the level of control that you get just with dip switches and you can do most of what you need to do. However, the exciting part is with this USB port right here on the side, you can use it with our Windows or Mac software. We call it RCS, which stands for Remote Control Software. You can download that and uh, you can see uh, by the graphic here now, the level of control goes up a whole nother notch. Uh, not only can you select scaling type and all that, but you get full audio uh, selection of in or out, as well as analog input color correction. So contrast, brightness, saturation, uh, you've got uh, red, green, blue gain, number of other features uh, there you can see in this graphic. Quite the control that becomes alive in the device uh, if you set it up ahead of time or even live right there on site. Um, the other feature that we really want to bring out isn't so much about the electronics, but the build quality. The, uh, the aluminum construction here, very strong, as well as the connectors being attached directly to the chassis. Uh, you can see in some of the other examples, not everyone does that. And sometimes the connectors just hanging on by the solder points on the PCB board. So if you're plugging in and out in a lot, uh, it doesn't take very long for a connector to fail. This won't fail with it really being secured to the outside of the chassis. So uh, those are the highlights really of the VC1 SC that sets it apart. So first of all, the array of inputs, the SDI in and out, the HDMI in and out, 
Uh, the fact that SDI has handled at the full 3G signals, not just the 1080i, but full 1080p, and both in and out, as well as the uh, composite in, RGB in, component in, uh, the, the reference, uh, if you're needing to lock to uh, uh, external video signal, as well as the audio embedding or de-embedding features. Those are the features that if you stack it up against any other converter currently available, they can't check those uh, boxes off in the same way, and at, for this price point at least. So there, there you have the VC1SC. So for more information, make sure you check out our microsite at vc1series.com.